Swift, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, really appreciate you spending your time to come on with us and then just talk some football. So uh, admire all your work and your grind. Uh, your channel's awesome. So, uh, yeah, th thanks for your time, man. And uh, let's just get right to it. After seeing that first game, uh, for the rest of the season, what concerns you more, um, the offense or the defense? And Ooh, uh, I would say defense right now. Like, our defensive line, obviously it's the one part of the team that – I, I think is farthest away from being completely rebuilt. It's been, it's kind of went defensive ends kind of went on the back burner. Yeah. There's been some things he's done. Like he drafted Dominique Robinson in the fifth round. He paid Demarcus Walker a little bit of money and then gave unique and Gakwe a big deal, but he hasn't drafted anybody in the first two days in two drafts back to back at probably one of our biggest positions of weakness. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely more worried about the defense right now. And then, a guy that I was really comfortable with going into the season, Eddie Jackson. Man, he looked like crap last week. He's still got Pro Bowl potential. But if he plays like that the rest of the season, then, yeah, I would want him gone. But it's one game. You don't overreact like that to one game. Well, me and Polly were venting about Eddie Jackson and saying, you know, he drove us nuts, made us sick in week one. And I said, Polly, he might be your favorite player by week eight because he's so streaky. And you never know with Eddie Jackson. And we totally agree that he's a gambler. He, When it goes well, it goes really well. When it goes badly, it goes really badly. And, you know, my biggest problem with it is, you know, you give up the first touchdown of the season, you just pat your chest and you say, my bad. Like, it's it, this isn't practice anymore. It's not a my bad situation. You're losing the game now because you took a big risk and you took a big gamble. And that's my biggest issue with Eddie Jackson. It's also the reason we all love Eddie Jackson. But I say defense as well for many reasons. Um, similar to what you're saying, it's such a vanilla defense. And because it's such a vanilla defense, relies on front four pressure, relies on corners getting easy interceptions off of you know bad turnovers, you don't yeah. have that talent. So it's going to be a long season. You're going to get great games out of the offense at some point. It's just inevitable. But that defense is there, – there's just no talent where you require talent in a vanilla style. You said it kind of with the the pressure, and we had the least amount of pressure from from our front four in the entire league. And when you pair that with you're also the team that blitzed the least in the NFL, then we just not generating any pressure, and that's not a recipe for success. Yeah, yeah, I definitely definitely said the defense as well. Um, you know, you give up the first drive right away to a, a guy who's coming in, uh, who's got a lot of pressure on him to succeed with Jordan Love. You know, very little experience in this league. Um, a lot of experience on the bench, but no real game experience in, in you know, the last couple of years. Uh, their number one wide receiver's out. You, they have nobody at wide receiver. You know, they have rookie tight ends. They're the youngest team in the league, which means they're the most inexperienced team in the league. And you just come out and let them walk all over you on the first drive. It was really – really deflating um you know hearing that kyler gordon's injured that that kind of sucks we needed him in there um we were pretty thin at that position last year i know we drafted again this year another corner in stevenson and uh, i believe we got another one in the fourth round too. Smith, yeah. but um yes terrell smith but uh you know that just goes to show that they're they understand that that position is thin so losing a guy like him does does hurt the defense a bit and uh you know, I, a follow-up question. Did, did we get worse on defense from last year? 